Frick. No good rain. Come back to film. This is what happens. Freaking rain. If you guys weren't able to tell from that long, treacherous, distinguished, horrible, disgusting, terrible excuse of a walk to my car, uh, it's raining. Just just take a take a minute and look. Look at this. Look at this. Anyways, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a beautiful day as as you can most definitely tell It's a very beautiful day here. All jokes aside today is a very big day for uh, not only me But for the channel as well. I've seen ah oh, geez. I don't even know how many comments There's been a ridiculous amount of comments of people tell me that I should get a new bike And uh, if you guys couldn't tell from the title and thumbnail, we are going to be doing that today Ah, my mic's about to die. Can you guys see this? Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, moving the mic around. It's about to die. That's no good. God. Just replace the battery, and uh, I don't know how much life this battery has. Uh, if it dies, I'm gonna be really butt hurt. Let me just let me just put it there. And hopefully, it doesn't make this microphone act up, because I'll be very butt hurt with that too. Anyways, right now we're gonna venture off to the bank and uh, pull out money for this bicycle. We got the money tucked away right here, and now we have about uh, 38 minutes till our destination. So let's get it. Bro, what the f is this? Yo, ho, ho, ho. now that is some sh He needs some milk! If you guys are wondering, there is a lot of oil on the road right now. Like, hold up. I think somebody like spilled gasoline and that's how that truck slurred off because I literally can't even like. This is bad! This is real f bad! Yo, there's like gasoline, oil, everything on the road right now. Like there's cars slipping off the road. This is not good. Uh, yeah, we'll try. F we'll try going a little faster here. Yeah, look at that. Little burp on the road, but let's continue this travel montage. We're about to pull up to the place right now, and uh, I honestly don't think I'm going to film just of uh, straight privacy for the owner of the bike and, you know, the whole nine yards of that, so I'll probably touch base with you guys right after I uh, pick it up. Is this it? Oh, this is it. Pulled up to the house. This dude has a Supra just chilling and a nice WRX right in front of me. I'm not going to film it because there's the Supra. I don't want to reveal it just yet, but the bike is literally right there, and the, uh, the owner kept it in crazy condition. Like, I'm unbelievably hype about how this is. I'm gonna venture off somewhere to uh, try and do a big reveal for you guys, cause, ooh, this is so cool. We meet again, Mr. Tow Truck Driver. We just made it back to the house, and it looks like there's a little break in the rain where I can reveal this to you guys. <sighs> Be prepared to what you guys are about to witness. That's all I gotta say. Here is my new bike. Just kidding, that, that's, that's not. All jokes aside, guys, this is my new bike. This is a Mongoose Excursion 21 speed. Not 10 speed, not 11 speed, not 12, 21 speed. And uh, this right here is uh, not the new bike either. The new bike is actually right next to me. All jokes aside, guys, this is my new bike. This is a 1988, 1988 Huffy Race Light Type 10. This bike is not only older than me, it's, uh, it's been through some sh- I know what you guys are thinking, there's one point in a time period where Huffy wasn't complete garbage, and uh, that was around this time period of this bike, so I'm very stoked I was able to pick this up today, and it opens up so many videos that I'm going to do this week with this bike, and it's gonna be insane. A lot of you guys might be thinking this is some sort of a big cruel joke, but this is actually 100% legit. This bike right here is going to open up, like I just said, so many videos for this week, and uh, I'm super stoked I was able to pick it up. It spent, I literally spent the past week looking at old school bikes. And I was actually able to score this bike for $40, and that's not that bad, especially for the for the uh, abuse that's going to go through throughout the next week. This bike is definitely a steal for that. No, I don't know a lot about old school bikes, and I especially don't know a lot about this one, but I, I know a little bit. I know about like what an average BMX rider would know. What I do know is that this bike is 30 years old? Holy sh 30 years old. Like I said, I don't know a lot about this bike, but uh, I'm gonna try walking you guys through it and walking you guys through uh, the nice specs of it. So if you guys know anything about this bike, please leave them in the comment section below because I know absolutely nothing. So it has the original grips, probably won't be the most comfiest thing to bar spin later on. And everything on this bike is original except for the wheels. The guy selling the bike had the wheels set aside and uh, he asked me if I really wanted them and uh, I just didn't really want them that much because I'm just gonna ruin the bike anyways. Like, this bike's just gonna go through a ton of experiments this week. And I really didn't wanna ruin those wheels because they're a giant piece of history. So, uh, we got the wheels 
there on the bike right now. I'm pretty sure it's just like a mongoose front and back wheel, nothing too special, nothing that was on the bike originally. And now it has the original forks. These forks look, these forks look in damn good condition. Everything on this bike looks so clean. The pedals are 100% the original pedals. You guys, I think everybody can tell that. Oh, listen to them. Just listen to it. Jesus. One piece cranks American bottom bracket, obviously. Has a big old 30 tooth, I think that is. No, it's definitely not 30 tooth. I think this is more like a 32 or 38 tooth, but uh. Original seat that I think it is leather and it's in awesome condition. Look at that. Made in the USA. So this bike is in damn near good condition, and I'm pretty sure the uh, owner re greased everything. Literally everything on this bike. It's hard to see, but there's definitely new grease in there. Definitely new grease in there. Can you guys believe the back sweep on these things? Holy sh! And this bike that was designed 30 years ago meant for racing and abuse. They're using this type of design for like cheap bikes today. Can you get, can you just picture that? Like that's, that's unbelievable. So in the meantime, I want you guys to go down in the comment section below and leave a name for her. We have Samantha over here. That's not even my bike. And uh, leave a name for her down below. I want this to be original and I want you guys to think of a name that is so unique. And don't name it like Samantha, like Carly, like Julia. Name it like an old name like Betsy or something like that. I don't even know. So with that, I want you guys to go down below and leave a comment. Whew, all right, we got Samantha and no name loaded up in the car and ready to go. Holy sh Speaking of car. So as you guys just saw, not too long ago, the weather is looking pretty sketchy. We're gonna make our way to the skate park and try riding Mrs. No Name back there. And uh, and hopefully we're able to when it's not too dark, but uh, we're gonna see. Made it to the skate park, right? Yeah. Open the back of my car. What the hell? Bro, old as hell. That is a 1988, 30 year old. Okay, so here's my plans for it. We got enough air for my fat ass. How's it feeling? Feeling smooth? It's smooth as hell. Your pedal's crooked. Is it crooked? The right one. Is it bent or crooked? Look look how they designed the pedals back then, dude. Like there's 10 pieces to that pedal at least. Yeah, probably. And they're not even like welded together, just they're yeah. just like press fitted. I dude, I'm telling you, I would cruise around anywhere with that thing. I think it's safe to say Will likes it, and his but his bike actually looks identical to that one. Dude, you are cruising! The brakes don't work that good. Who need brakes? Yeah, I haven't even touched, like, stepped on this thing. I would take this all day over my BMX. I'm t I told you, all, man. Like, my bike is what? Our bike's what? Two, two thousand dollars? About, yeah. It's almost forty bucks. I would take this over my bike any day. Oh yeah, this shit's smooth as hell and just cruise. Yeah, just the gear ratio's lit. <laughs> yeah. I think Donald Duck designed the back end. Yo. Bar spin. No. Not yet, dude. So the guy who I bought this bike from, I, I told him pretty much what we're going to be doing with it. And he was, he, he told me this thing was just going to fall apart right away. And this was actually a message he sent me right after I bought it. Um, so, I mean, he was pretty not confident with it, but I did a hop. Will did a hop. Honestly, it feels solid. All right, I want to try one trick before we get round out. Okay. Oh. All right, just, just one. Folded the whole tire. Did it fold? Dude, I thought I bent the rim. In dude, half. watch it in slow motion. Dude, I don't even know how I can like correct myself. Okay, all right, we're done. We're done with it. This this is not supposed to be the today's video. This is not supposed to be that. This was just like a test ride. This was like this is like before you buy a new car. The test ride. This was the test ride. Before. We left the skate park and I just dropped Will off at home because it's starting to downpour now. It wasn't supposed to, but. uh Thanks, Mother Nature. Well, like I said earlier, we are going to be doing a lot of videos with this bike, so I'm extremely hyped on the future videos because they're all super banger. I can't. All right, we're done talking about it. <coughs> Fuck. That went everywhere. Just. That went to crevices where Gatorade is not supposed to reach. I gotta take a shower now. So I'm going to make this fast. Um. Oh, I just lost train of thought. So really quickly, I'm not clickbaiting you guys with this bike. Like, I'm not even, like, exaggerating or, like, trying to make a title and thumbnail. Like, believe it or not, I'm incredibly hype on this bike. And, like, the videos that are going to come from this bike are going to be so crazy and so cool and so interesting. And I cannot wait to sit, sit, 
to sit started and start filming. To get started and start filming them because uh, they're going to be absolute bangers. So basically this week, tomorrow I'm not going to be able to upload. Last week, or a couple days ago, I wasn't able to upload the past two days because I was working a lot. So moving on back to the bike, if you guys know any information about this bike whatsoever that you guys know, please go on below and leave it in the comment section below. I'm so left in the dark about this bike and like everything about it. I know a little bit about old school bikes, but not too much. And uh, I'm not sure if this bike's like super crazy or serious, but just please go down below and leave a comment if you know anything. So with that, that's going to cap off this video. If you guys seem to enjoy this video thus far, please go down below, leave a fat like, fat subscribe for your boy. And don't forget, share with your friends, share with your homies, share with your dog, share with your cat, share with your friends, hi mom, share with your uncle Bethany. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Where the heart is.